Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today I wanted to share with you guys a pretty neat little case for the Raspberry Pi 3. So there's a lot of cases out there, but how many of them 3D printed or otherwise have functioning power and reset buttons? What? And also include a big ass fan and a lot of other neat little features? I don't know, but let's go ahead and dive up close and take a look. Okay guys, so taking a look at this bad boy, this is a 3D printed case from Elevated Dimensions 3D. It was sent to me by Ashley and Brian over at that company to take a look at. So looking at her, you know, we got a lot of ventilation on this, this bad boy. Really nice. A big cutout for our micro SD card. We do have a different power supply in the back that we will be using. We have our original power supply slot. HDMI, 3.5 millimeter jack. And then we do have the front port for our USBs. Dandy, nice. And then we also have a functioning power and reset button with an LED attached. So we're gonna be going over a few things in a moment here, but first we gotta remove the screws to open this, this guy up to put our pie in there. So let me go ahead and unscrew this thing there are going to be a few options if you want to purchase this, this case. So, you know, there's like a case only version, um, like a full kit where you assemble everything, do all the wiring yourself. Um, and also a, uh, fully assembled kit, like what I have right here. Um, you still got to do a little bit of work, but it's, it seems to be well worth it in the end. So those options all have different prices. And if you want to check that out, link will be in the description but she does come with a 40 millimeter fan that this this version has it attached and then we also have all of our cords in here and we have this different um, power supply that you'll have to use a barrel power supply and we'll take a look at that in a moment so pretty much everything's daisy chained together other than our unit here our pins for our reset function so the cool thing i want to say with this case though is that there's there's a lot of options like you don't have to wire this up the way they tell you but if you want it to function the way they intended it you can but you could also go about it a few different ways and i'll be talking about that in another video this one i just want to do a basic quick disassembly put her together and just take a look but i'm going to be doing another video where we discuss some options with this case as well but right here our main pins that we need to attach this to are going to be on the right side it's going to be two and three so not the first one on the right side but the second and third one you need to make sure the red pin is facing up and then this guy right here if you want your reset switch to work you'll plug that in there and solder it on if you don't solder it on it's not going to stay and it's not going to function properly so if you want that reset functionality that this case has you'll have to do very minor soldering action. So that's that's it, pretty simple stuff. But for this, at this moment, I'm not gonna be soldering that in. I may, on the next video where I showcase a few more things that you can do with this case. But pretty much when you're assembling this, this guy, you do need to make sure you're lining everything up because the, the, the holes on the Pi 3 board need to line up with the screws on the case. So everything will be fit together nicely and you do have to kind of make sure your, your cables are managed properly as well so they're not getting in the way of anything. And then go ahead and screw the screws back in once you know everything is fit properly. And you do want to get these screws in kind of tight. I noticed at the end of filming this, I did not, you know, I should have used a, a fatter Phillips head, but I did not screw them in as tight as I should have. So there's a little tiny bit of a gap on the right side of the case but it was only it was user error it was my fault for not screwing it in all the way down um, but you'll kind of want to clamp the case in your hand and squeeze a little bit and then tighten up those screws so no biggie just something i didn't really pay close attention to being behind a camera and trying to do all these things at the same time so you know i kind of noticed it and then tried tightening it a little bit but like i said i needed a a fatter phillips head to do so 
Um, but regardless, it does screw in flush. So you don't have to worry about that. If you, if you are, you know, inclined to purchase this case, which like I said, there's multiple options. So it's kind of nice, but here, this is going to be the kind of power supply you'll need. And this is not provided with the case. You will have to purchase one of these. They're not too expensive. You could find them on Amazon or eBay, but it will be these five volt barrel power supplies and it'll plug into the back. And then all you need to do is plug in your HDMI and you know, whatever inputs you're using and you're good. And the power button will function, turn that bad boy on and off. Now, if you want the reset functionality, you do have to make sure those two pins were soldered in. I did not do that during this time. So the thing I'm pointing out here, this is a 3D printed case. Don't, no mistake behind it. No matter what kind of 3D printed case you get, there's gonna be some texture to it if it hasn't been treated. And treating it with acetone, that kind of stuff is a lengthy process. So, you know, a lot of people don't do that. I wouldn't even bother doing that. But what you could do is take some really high grit sandpaper to it. We'll discuss that more in a moment. Let's go ahead and try to get a micro SD card in and out because a case isn't worth a damn if you can't get the micro SD card in and out easily. And boom, they supply you with enough space to pull her in and out. So that is a definite plus. But like I was saying, if you take some really high grit sandpaper, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 around that and sand this down lightly, it's thick enough to where you're not going to, you, you know, even with that high grit sandpaper you're not going to remove so much you're just going to smooth it out so you could do that and then you know put a gloss over it or just leave it as is and then kind of shine it and buff it out a little bit and, sh and she'll come out fine she'll she'll look really nice you know they do mention in their listing that hey you know this is a raw you know case like you know if you want to do this and this with it you're gonna have to put in a little work no mistake about it. They're not rep misrepresenting what they're selling. They're selling you a case that is 3D printed. And hey, if you want it to look really spiffy, and to me, it, it looks great for you know a, a, a Raspberry Pi case. I've seen a lot of cases that just look like garbage. This case has a lot of functionality to it, a lot you know, a lot of cool features. And like I said, you can actually use this differently than the way they intended it. You don't even have to use the power and reset buttons, but you could, if you so chose, which is the way they intended it, but you could also wire it up a little differently. And we will be exploring that in another video. So at this moment, I'm giving this case a thumbs up. I really dig it. The price is not bad for what you are getting. Like I said, there's, there's several different price ranges for this case for different options. And, you know, there's, there's, it's a competitive market out there on these Raspberry Pi cases. And you're going to see a lot of cases taking it to the next step. And these guys have done it. They've, they've given you a power and reset button that function. They gave you a big ass fan, a ton of ventilation, a, you know, plenty of options. So it's a really cool case. I'm digging it. Two thumbs up. Check out their, their website. I'm going to put it in the description if you want to purchase this. But like I said, I'm going to be doing one more video on this case to do it a little more justice. And with that said, hope you guys appreciated taking a look at this bad boy. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Take a look at my giveaway videos. And we got some future case reviews, stuff to do with RetroPie, a lot of awesome stuff coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Catch you next time. Boom.